What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. It's Mike from So Speed and the Green 435 here and um, I'm at Liberty Dam. Now, if you guys remember a video a long time ago, um, I'll probably put it right there, but once again, you know I suck with that. If you guys remember that video a while back, I was trying to figure out should I get an intake for my car and an exhaust. Uh, it was a pretty interesting video for me. Uh, a lot of you guys commented. Back then, I knew little about uh, exhaust and intake especially. I'm more the kind of person where I like uh, to do the cheapest thing first, and if that don't work, then we'll move on to something a little more cost effective. But uh, this is the one time and the one time only I think I've done this once and I've done it right. Three liter uh, streak six and it sounds pretty, pretty damn good. Now, one of the, I mean, hidden gems or I mean, most common things with these turbocharged six cylinders is uh, to go ahead and just do a muffle delete. You don't get uh, that bad of a sound. I remember I asked you guys what intake should I go with. Uh, for the most part, uh, a lot of pe a lot of people jump to intake first or little stupid things like diverter valve and such things like that before even tuning their car and they think they're gonna gain so much more horsepower. When in all reality, we've discovered that the only really thing you gain is just a decent sound. And for about five to 600 bucks, it doesn't really make any sense to go ahead and do something strictly off of the sound. And I mean, looks I mean, i'm gonna regret that later obviously because i mean i painted the car green for crying out loud it has no performance benefit but it looks nice so fast forward to now with a big boost turbo and a nice size hole in my hood give it a shot and grab me an intake but not just any intake because i have the hole in my hood i figured i would like carbon fiber to kind of be shown through the hole because i've decided that i'm not covering that hole up so i mean Pretty much most of you guys seen this on Instagram already, but you're gonna be pretty stoked to see the type of intake that I went with or just I mean in general How it's set up like it's perfectly I mean, I don't know. It's like one and done. This is it's cost me around about I would say What about 400 maybe 500 bucks? I'll put the link down below where you could pick up something like this as well It's shipping wise. I got to ship to the shop over there European Auto. It took about I would say Maybe three to four days to get there uh, a little longer for me just because you know, It had to go through the weekend and then that next Monday came in but uh, yeah the intakes in it's not that hard to install. I'll also go ahead and show a couple of clips of me installing it, losing a couple bolts or little hardware pieces and uh, Geo taking over, helped me out a little bit. Uh, we just scrambled around the shop and found something. So thank you once again, obviously. I did this myself, but you know, I did it in the comfort over there because well, one, it was cold, two, I didn't feel like digging for my tools, and three, I mean, Geo said I could do it, so I did it.
actually benefit the car now. You see that? <laughs> <It's like> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there is the intake. It's, it's freaking it's freaking hot under here, so bear with me. But uh, yeah, a couple little things that, let me see if you guys can see it. Like I said, a couple things you will notice right off the bat is one, well, this is gloss carbon. It's kind of hot. And uh, two, it has Turner Motorsports on the front. It perfectly lined up to the hole. I love that, I love that. It's kind of a little bit of free promo for Turner Motorsports, but um, I don't know, consider yourself lucky, guys. Anyway, uh, a couple other noticeable things. I don't mind my uh, spool high pressure fuel pump line, but you'll notice that it is a open intake, which means that there is no cover over it. Now, one of the big things that um, I always thought was the open ones are pretty much useless, well, because it will not let hot air in the car. Uh, I will say, I gotta check the intake air temps. However, it does initially feel like it's still cold air getting inside of it, but after pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, I have noticed a little bit more heat soak than I'm used to. Uh, it may just be the weather getting warmer, and it also may just be because, like I said, I uh, put an open box intake on there as well. Now, Turner Motorsports what comes in the kit. I think they've done a pretty decent job because they have certain things like this rubber right here, which kind of seals it up against the hood. I mean, not really. It, it kind of looks like it a little bit, but I don't know. I'm just making excuses on why I deviate from my normal plan, which would be 100% performance, and then we'll do the looks last. However, I don't know, looks and sound on the open intake kind of beat it for me. I'm, I'm kind of transitioning over, with, especially with these H&R Sports Springs. I said a couple things you'll notice this right here will seal it off this as well is also applied in the kit uh, this is as uh, some sort of metal and we also have some rubber grommets down below so it does a pretty decent job sealing off you know much as possible kind of sort of for what you get uh, however you still have a little tiny gap in there which if you look on this side I'll show you guys it's actually gold tape to I'm not sure if it's more for looks or it really does uh, reduce the temperature on this box in this area, but uh, they did supply us with some type of gold uh, tape. So I'm not sure if it's effective, but hey, it came with it, so I installed it. Right off the bat, uh, this came from the Big Boost kit, so the intake starts here. So this, that's the direction of the turbo, this the direction of the filter. We're going to work our way back to the filter. Carbon fiber, I mean, main intake tubing nice and chunky uh, you have a hole here I think this is only for automatic transmissions if you have a manual I mean don't think you're gonna find something like this uh, slot for the mass airflow you will be swapping your mass airflow keep these two screws around because I lost them now, right up here you know you have the box and the supplied little uh, I guess you say cushion um, what you call this thing I forgot what you call it. rubber something uh, we went ahead and zip tied the end right here and you have some up here as well We just cut this with a set of scissors automotive scissors um, This clamp is supplied as well with this filter. This is all turn motor sports I'm not sure if this is oiled or not. If you look down here, you have some trim as well and This is one support brace and the other one um, this is one support brace the other one with some hardware kind of squeezes right down here if it could focus sorry guys not focusing but there's one piece right here that goes into the existing little rubber grommet thing like this and there's also a there's also a little buffer thing down below it's like a little brick that clips onto one of the uh, pinch points in the body and yeah well, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty simple. Now, as far as driving, I almost immediately noticed a response. Uh, the car really, really needed an intake. Rewind back uh, to my previous videos. Uh, I did not feel the need for intake. I am, I am not a fan of just parts people just throw in their cars because of advertisements and like little stupid reasons they feel like they should. Now, granted, it is their car, and I agree with 100%. If you want an intake, uh, go by all means just go out and buy an intake because you like the sound however for me I uh, just never been the type of person to go ahead and just uh, spend a lot of money on things for no reason yeah 
all jokes aside, I, I, I did notice it. Uh, the mid-range feels really, really, really punchy and up top, it pulls a lot stronger. I kind of really never noticed it in the beginning. I could definitely say that I was suffocating the turbo with the stock air box. Now it feels like a lot more easy flowing and breathing. And I don't know, the car just feels a lot more alive, I would guess say, and this is with no extra additional tuning or anything um, in that matter. I could almost kind of relate it to me going stock turbo to big turbo. If any of you guys know the stock turbos above like I would say 55 or six grand, you know, it, it just pretty much runs out of steam and that's kind of what it was. I didn't notice it because it was a big change from the stock turbo, but uh, adding this intake on, I noticed that it just pulls a lot meatier in the middle and nice and smooth up top. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to report that to you guys, right? Now, with all good comes bad, right? You know, and um, I hate to say this, I hate to bring it up, I hate to announce it, I really do. Uh, it's not really my job to to bash anybody, to hurt any business or anything of that nature. However, uh, in further inspection of us, you know, wanting to hear the intake sound, making sure everything was tight, we actually found another issue with the turbo install. I am extremely, extremely frustrated, for lack of better words, pissed the f off because in all honesty, you know, I try to be as positive as I can, but uh, you know, things just happen and it just gets you, you know, it gets you. All of the manifold bolts on the exhaust were not there, like they weren't loose, it just wasn't, they just weren't there. So when I gave it a couple revs underneath the hood, um, you can hear this like faint ticking, like exhaust like leaking noise so we went ahead and put a little mirror down below and uh, lo and behold we found that the manifold is just not on all the way there are bolts missing there's those little copper nuts they are missing so I asked geez there any possible way I was giving this guy to benefit out is there any possible way that this can um just pop off or loosen up and he, he kind of explained to me that no it can't it is leaking exhaust out that could be a reason why the car was so difficult to tune in the beginning and why it's still proven a little bit more difficult to tune now has nothing to do with the fueling and just more so the fine tuning like strapping this thing up on the dyno so next step is i'm reaching out to one a big boost he can develop some type of package for me gasket package because we're gonna have to go ahead and take everything apart and uh, put it back together properly so it's gonna suck and i hope i don't find more damage because at this point uh, motor mounts were cut, and, you know, oil lines were cut. It was just, it's just a huge headache. And I don't like to air all this stuff out there for you guys because I don't want to screw up people's business. But at the end of the day, man, it's just, you guys got to hear this. You guys got to know exactly what I've been going through as far as this car wise. And, you know, just always remember to stay positive and optimistic. This is just a car. Uh, however, you know, I see it as a little bit more, uh, you know, because of the fact of, I'm doing this whole thing so guys i hope you guys like the way it sound like the way it looked and kind of seeing the envision that i had and also you know i'm not looking for sympathy or anything here but just understand like yo man this stuff becomes a pain in the ass man definitely if there's one thing that you guys could take from anything i've ever said is just choose the right people to install your shit please do not take it to nobody that you do not have any type of confidence in if you have one single like ounce of doubt just go just go because in all reality i mean the car wasn't broken when i brought it and it's broken after i leave that's the thing that i guess kind of you know it makes no sense it's not like i took it in for a repair and he just didn't fix the, the problem it was perfectly fine to say here you know i want to upgrade a part and then you get it back in worse shape than you gave it in i mean i think that's a little more frustrating and that's what gets me the most so like i said when you guys are buying these parts to throw them on modify them in case just remember uh, it's always good to have your car running well because it's a huge headache when it's not so uh with that being said obviously mike from slow speed and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i hope you guys like the uh driving clips and sound clips i have right up at the end of this but definitely like comment subscribe we're gonna get up out of here because i took my sister's car keys and now i have to bring them back